Well, you can come too. I meant that we were supposed to be going to the movies for my birthday. Oh, the movies? Weeks ago. You I mean, did promise. Sure, they could stop home. on the way. I guess. For the new diamond badge. Yeah, well, what about your friend? Well, Pokemon are my friends, too. Oh, boy. A magic feeling that's grown so strong. <laughs> Pikachu's face is like permanently stuck on that meme face yeah. like this. <laughs> so, Pokemon. Pokemon. It is a very successful franchise. Uh, that's kind of an understatement, actually. <laughs> it's the most successful media franchise of all time. Yeah. Its net worth is valued at $95 billion. Uh, okay. Yep. And a lot of it comes from, you know, different things. The video games, the cartoons, the card game, mm -hmm. the merchandise. There's a lot of avenues to make money yes. with Pokemon. Uh I mean, pretty much any type of media that you can think of, and there's a Pokemon thing about yes. it. Uh, and that includes live musicals. Yeah. I remember when we first met. We had some fun, oh, I never will forget. Yeah. Okay, he's not the best singer of this group. <laughs> They're just dancing in front of the stage where we can't see them. It's not a whole lot they can do, really. Everybody, when they think of Pokemania, they think about the first couple years where it, oh, like, yeah. it came out and just took the world by storm and it mm. was everywhere. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, right around that time, they did this, which is a live children's musical show mm. that went on tour around the world. Uh, we watched a recording of it today that was recorded in Dubai in mm -hmm. 2001. Mm, and yeah, it's called Pokemon Live. Pokemon Live! <laughs> it's all caps. Yeah, I actually watched this as a kid in Mexico. Ooh. In, yeah, I guess around 2000, 2001. Mm. And... I gotta say, while watching it, this time around, I couldn't remember if it was the exact same show I had watched as a kid uh -huh. until they get into some of the weirder aspects of it that we'll mm. get into. Well, 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 it looks like I've got company. I'm here to battle for the diamond badge. Oh, are you? And I choose Alakazam. Alakazam. I choose Mecha Mewtwo. What? <laughs> what? He only has one, I'm afraid. Oh, that's you know, bad. just make a Mewtwo. That official Alexander Pokemon. The the show opens with Ash, uh, I guess, lip syncing to the Pokemon theme song. Yeah, yeah, with the boombox. Mm -hmm. His friends catch him, and he's embarrassed they about what him. he's doing. They catch him. Uh, all dancing, and, uh... <laughs> and we should mention that all the human characters are played by people, and all the Pokemon are either people in suits, or just completely motionless statues or puppets. Yeah, which is, uh, which is fun. It varies, like, how mm. well it works. Like, for some of them it works pretty well, for some of them it feels quite off. Uh, the Pikachu in this is odd looking, mostly because of the face. Yeah. And it's very distracting because it's not, <laughs> yeah, it's not like a smile or or a neutral face. It looks like he's worried or yeah. displeased or surprised. <laughs> oh. Yeah, <laughs> Pikachu barely does anything in this show. If you're a Pikachu fan, it's kind of disappointing. The only other thing at the beginning is we get introduced to the idea that there's a new badge available. Oh, yes. Uh, the diamond badge. We see an ad for it. Yes. Attention, Pokemon trainers. Announcing the all-new 
Diamond Badge. Diamonds are the hardest substance on Earth, and the Diamond Badge is the hardest Pokémon badge on Earth to win. Only one way to make it yours and yours alone. By defeating me and my Pokémon in a Pokémon battle. Are you trainer enough to try? Are you trainer enough to try? Oh, motherfucker. Oh, I'm trainer enough. The Ash knows about the diamond badge, so he wants to go challenge the gym leader. And the gym leader turns out to be Giovanni, the head of the Team Rocket organization. Yeah. Um, and we, the just immediately, as soon as we meet him, he's singing a villain song. Oh, yeah. I was born to rule the world. Okay. All right. Yeah, this the Giovanni. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that, okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Giovanni is at his gym and people are coming to challenge him. Yes. Giovanni brings out his Pokemon, Mecha Mewtwo. He builds a robot version of Mewtwo. Okay, so if we're going by the, the anime lore, uh, Mewtwo was created by Team Rocket. Mm -hmm. They were trying to clone Mew and they created yes. Mewtwo. And Mewtwo essentially went crazy and killed a bunch of the Team Rocket scientists. Yeah. Um, so he escaped. So Giovanni is like, well, we can just create like a robot one. It's one attack is learn, which so whenever someone attacks it, the attack somehow has no effect on Mecha Mewtwo at all. Uh, they never explain why, really. But he has uh, the power to then copy, like, learn the attack that was used against him. And then just literally destroy the person that attacked him. Yeah, so I'm not even sure what Giovanni is doing. Like, he's just having kids challenge him and he's just beating them mercilessly and then laughing. And I don't think he's gaining anything. He doesn't get to keep their Pokemon or anything. He's just being a no. dick. I guess he gets their attacks, but... Yeah, he's just a dick. He keeps saying this. I'm gonna rule the world by doing this, but he's just beating up kids' pets. Uh, yeah. Apparently, even though Team Rocket has a lot of members, <laughs> the only ones that ever go out on missions are Jesse and James, and everybody else just dances nonstop at Giovanni's office gym yeah, place. It sounds like a good gig to everyone else. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're good dancers. Yeah, it's and... some of the best choreography in the show is the Team Rocket, just nameless people. I have a job for you. Bring me that Pikachu alive and unharmed. Enough. Yeah, don't you have any better options? Like, their track record isn't the best. You can't send one of these guys to do... Do they do, they do anything other than dance? Uh, oh, that's just his dance crew. They come up with a... I guess a pretty good plan during a musical number that, you know, the gang is doing. Yeah, they kind of get lucky. Yeah, well, they start... They start singing about how great Pikachu is, and I do like that number. Which Pokemon are you going to use to battle for it? Well, I've been training all of them, but the choice is obvious. I do believe that's probably a song that's included in a, you know, Pokemon song CD. Like, I'm pretty sure I've heard it elsewhere. Yeah. It's a pretty good song, so I don't, th I don't think it was specifically written for this. <laughs> yeah. Is what I'm saying. Uh, 
Uh, but yeah, during it, there, you know, Pikachu's like moving around and they're singing, and suddenly just a <sighs> bunch of people with Pikachu's show up. All, yeah, it becomes like a pink elephant scene of just like all these Pikachu's dancing around with trainers, I guess, that they're attached to. And yeah, Team Rocket has a blanket that they keep trying to use to catch Pikachu's, and it's always the wrong one until it's not. Yeah, eventually they get the right one, and Ash and the gang kind of miss it, and yeah, suddenly it's like, where did Pikachu go? I think Team Rocket got him, and Misty's like, well, maybe Pikachu went off on its own. Team Rocket must be behind this. They must have taken him again. Then we'll have to get him back. Hello? Maybe it wasn't Team Rocket, Ash? What else could have happened? I don't know. Maybe Pikachu left on his own. (laughs) Why would he do that? <laughs> he's not only my Pokemon, he's my friend. Uh, yeah? Well, you have a habit of ignoring your friends. Maybe you missed his birthday, too. Where did this come from? <laughs> no way. I guess it's, like, established a little from the beginning, but they do uh, so little follow-up on that throughout the show that it kind of comes out of nowhere. Yeah. And, in fact, um, I because I watched this as a kid... I know that there's stuff that got cut out out of Mm. this version that we watched. Well, because during that scene, Misty acts really weird towards Ash, and Mm. Brock is like, what was that about? You like him, don't you? I was just trying to make a point to Ash about how he treats his friends. (laughs) Okay, I mean about how he treats me. You really like him, don't you? Yeah, of course I like him. The three of us are best friends. That's not the kind of like I meant. Oh, I don't know what you're talking about. No? And that really comes out of nowhere when yeah. he says it. But that's because in the original show, or at least the one I watched mm. as a kid, there was a scene where they're out in the woods and Jigglypuff comes out and sings. Oh, and yeah. everyone falls asleep. And... Misty wakes up before everyone mm. and she looks at Ash and she sings a romantic song about Ash. Beneath the stars and the moon, we both know we've got something on our minds. We won't admit, but it's true. Yeah, that whole romance part, I remember being a bigger part of the show, and Mm. here it got severely cut down to the point where it was really weird that it even came up. Um, Because, yeah, yeah, pretty much in this version, it was just mentioned that one time and then never never again. again, Even Um, in the finale. So they're looking for Pikachu, Mm, uh, but Team Rocket has got him, and they take him to Giovanni. They try to get Pikachu to fight. Mecha Mewtwo, but I guess they can't get him to fight properly because Ash isn't there, so he tests them with getting Ash. And uh, they go, and they just kind of go up to him with scooters and tell him what's up. And he's like, okay, I'll go with you because I want to get Pikachu. Yeah. And that's that. That's that. Um. <laughs> so then they're, we're back at the gym, and Ash is going to battle Giovanni. And Giovanni reveals that he's the one that has the diamond badge and he's the one that has to be defeated <gasps> in order for Ash to get the diamond badge. So they didn't need to kidnap Pikachu at all, really. No. Ash was going to fight him anyway because that was his goal from the start. Yeah. So it was all pointless. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it's Ash and Pikachu versus Giovanni and Mecha Mewtwo. And Mecha Mewtwo just fucking destroys Pikachu. Like, it's not even yeah, close. Course. And then Pikachu fucking passes out and almost dies. Yeah. Uh, and it looks like everything's lost. It's the force field! The hyper beam can't penetrate a force field! What's going on? <laughs> the boy will not be harmed. Who said that? I did. Oh, it's Mewtwo. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, Mewtwo? bitches? You do not know me, Ash Ketchum, but I know you. <laughs> Mewtwo, meet. Mewtwo has shown up because 
You know, I'm not really sure why, but he's there mm. to protect Ash, I guess. I think he's mad at Giovanni, yeah, I guess. He, he, he just wants vengeance or something. That's, uh, yeah, sure, why not? You built a robot version of me, I'm gonna stop you, I guess. So, yeah, so but... we, get a, we get a quick fight between Mewtwo and Mecha Mewtwo. And somehow Mewtwo links Ash and Mecha Mewtwo. And Mecha Mewtwo yeah. reads all of Ash's thoughts. Yeah. And that causes Mecha Mewtwo to grow a conscience. Return the attack now. I command you, use what you've learned. Not anymore. I didn't give you the power of speech. But you did give me the ability to learn. And I have. From the boy, I've learned about love and goodness. His heart is pure. His love for Pokemon and his friends and family is real. And now I know what I must do. Something else I learned. Self-destruct. No, don't, please! Don't! Quick! Don't! I thought he had just cursed. (laughs) Yeah, same. (laughs) We'll do this. We can be partners! Oh, I guess there is one more thing where Ash, you know, he has the diamond badge with him. He's like, I don't know what happened, but I Mm. guess I have this badge with me. And he's like, well, I guess I'll give it to you, Misty, because we got to have a conclusion for this arc, I guess. Yeah. Um, I do appreciate you as a friend. I appreciate you so much that I'll let you hold my diamond badge for me so that I don't lose it. Yeah, which I guess is nice. Ash lost Pikachu. He he trusts her to not lose his thing. Yeah. yeah. You're the part of my life. I'll always remember. The time has come. It's a John Bolton song. Michael Bolton. I <laughs> can't even get my joke right. Tyler, would you recommend people go out and try to watch Pokemon Live in whatever way they can? Not if you're looking for good Pokemon content. If, if you're drunk with some friends and you want to laugh at something, put it on. Otherwise, I'd stay away from Pokemon Live. Because I watched it as a kid, this had a bit of a nostalgic value to me, uh, mm. just because it's been so long, and it was interesting seeing what parts I remembered and what parts I didn't. But as far as the quality of it goes, it's pretty like whatever. You know, it's like a f- 50 minutes of, eh, I guess it's Ash and friends. What if they sang a bunch? <laughs> Yeah. It'd be kind of annoying. <laughs> okay, oh, so... For an outro... Uh, yeah, now I'm trying to think of that. I was um, thinking of that uh, that Detective Pikachu like dance video. Oh, yeah! <laughs> but with one of these songs. Well, with the Pikachu song. <laughs> with, the, with the I Choose You Pikachu. You got it. Pikachu! Because we need to face the challenge that's ahead. We've got you. You know there is no...